Uh, hey everybody, just doing a review for this Kalfa Solar 100 watt flexible solar panel. And so uh, Kalfa Solar did send over actually four of these uh, 100 watt flexible solar panels. I have one over here completely unboxed and I have another three right over there in the box. Um, and I'm going to be unboxing those and taking them outside to conduct the test. Um, I didn't really want to unbox all three, I mean, I mean all four at the same time to show you guys because I'd be showing you the same thing, but you will be seeing all four solar panels uh, working in series uh, to recharge this Bluetti AC70 power station in this review. Uh, but yeah, what's included in the box with this 100 watt solar panel is manual and the solar panel. Uh, that's it. Um, nothing really complicated about this. Uh, and you know, overall about this video, I'm just taking a look at these specifications of the solar panel. Um, you know, it's uh, a decent size. It does have a 41 by 24 inch form factor. Um, it weighs 5.5 pounds. It uses MC4 connectors right over here that are each, I think about 2.3 feet long. Um, of course, you know, one solar panel isn't gonna be really helpful. Well, it can be helpful depending on what you're using it for. But yeah, in my case, I'm gonna be um, putting them in series. I did order this, um, you know, type of a uh, four connector series uh, solar cable. And I'm gonna be using the cable that was included in the box with my Bluetti AC70 power station. And so, you know, in this case, I think I would be plugging in uh, these two MC4 connectors to these two MC4 connectors. And then I'm gonna be plugging in the solar panels um, into these connectors right over here so I can put them on series. And what this is gonna allow me to do is, um, you know, use the power of all four solar panels together to recharge my AC70 power station. Um, because this uh, AC70 power station does have a 500 watt max solar recharge speed, which is uh, great. That's like really fast for a 768 watt hour uh, power station. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. Um, not much else to say, I think. I mean, in terms of build quality for this uh, Calpha Solar solar panel, um, it does have a ETFE top layer, an EVA uh, lower layer, and then it's the monocrystalline solar cells. And then after that, it's, it's another EVA uh, panel. And then after that, it's the TPT uh, back shield. And uh, that's really about it in terms of the build quality. It does have a IP68 water resistance rating. So the panel itself can, techni can technically be submerged into water. However, I, I do not recommend that at all, considering that even, even though it is IP68 water resistant, uh, but you know, if it starts to rain, the panel is gonna be very safe. I don't think you'll have to worry about it. Um, I think just make sure that the uh, MC4 connectors don't get any water in them, um, and then you'll be good. But if they're connected, like to other MC4 connectors, which is, which is what I'm gonna be doing in this review. Um, I don't think you really have to worry about water exposure either. Um, it is a sunny day today, but the clouds are still in the way. I think I'm gonna be conducting the solar panel test tomorrow, where it's gonna be, I think, a clear, a clear sky day. And I'm gonna be leaving the four panels outside all day. Well, maybe not all day, but for a few hours to see how much uh, power capacity I can fill up for this AC70 power station. I mean, just taking a look how much um, power it has right now. It has 48%. I think I might discharge it down to down to about uh, 30%, and then I'll be doing the test tomorrow. All right, you guys, so outside with the um, four Kalfa Solar 100 watt panels, um, I do have them in series. So what I did was, um, well, actually I worked with the company <laughs> and they told me what to do <laughs> because I had no idea what I was doing in this case. Uh, but yeah, I connected the, the positive and negative terminals of uh, each of these panels together. And I, and I did the same thing for these two panels right over here, you know, basically pairing um, each of these two panels together. And then I connected um, them to the four to uh, one solar cable right over here. And then I connected um, the MC4 to XD60 cable that came with the AC70 power station. And um, I have a charging now. Uh, we're getting about 277 watts, um, you know, getting some pretty good sun exposure. I'm hoping that I, I'm able to get to about 300 watts of solar recharging power. But uh, yeah, I mean, this was through trial and error because, you know, once again, I did not know what I was doing. Um, but Calpha Solar um, really helped me uh, set this up.
and uh, yeah, just taking a look at the panels themselves, I do have them, uh, you know, leaning up against these uh, bins right over here that I use for uh, collecting leaves when I do rake the leaves. Um, but yeah, getting some really good sun exposure. It is a clear sky day today, so this was a perfect day to do this solar charging test. And uh, yeah, um, I did discharge the AC70 power station down to 0% um, to just get a full test going. Um, I've had it outside for about, I think, 5 to 10 minutes um, so far for the uh, solar charging. Um, and as you can see, we're getting some 280, 280 watts of a solar recharge speed um just a reminder that this power station does have a 500 watt solar recharge rate and uh yeah um just wanted to show this initially um let me just check the time it is 11 42 uh, december 20th um i'm going to come back uh probably once the sun goes down to see how much i'm able to recharge um in just like a few hours in a single day uh, we should get a decent amount recharged hopefully um i was hoping to get this um test started earlier but that's fine uh but yeah just uh wanted to show you guys this real quick um should we let me show you guys the front to show you the um so sun exposure on the panels um and so yeah really good sun exposure on the panels right there and i'll be right back to give you guys an update in a couple of hours to see how much i'm able to recharge and to show you how these uh panels perform oh and i just wanted to do a quick update right here um you know it's just 11 45 barely any time has passed <laughs> since the last cut but um yeah we're at 308 right now for the solar recharge rate and uh yeah just wanted to do a quick update for that um i was able to reach 300 watts of input power through these uh Calpha solar uh solar panels and uh, yeah, I just wanted to do that um, update real quick. All right, you guys, so just back with the um, four Calpha Solar solar panels. Uh, the time is now uh, 3.27. Um, you know, I started the test at about 11.30, I would say. So after about four hours, I was able to take the power station from 0% to 81% uh, using uh, four of these 100-watt uh, Calpha Solar solar panels. Um, I mean, at this point, the sun is going down. Um, there are a lot of trees to my right um, that's like, you know, blocking a lot of sun exposure for the panels. So I'm just going to call the test um, off right now. Uh, still pretty impressive considering that I'm able to recharge the power station from 0% to, to 81% um, in this amount of time. Um, because, you know, we're talking about like no ac recharging whatsoever no using the grid that contributes to a higher electricity bill and uh so yeah i mean these panels perform really well uh you know once again uh a shout out to Calpha solar for walking me through the steps to actually connect these solar panels to each to each other in series and um you know using the full power of the panels um you know i was able to film um about a what like um a 310 watt max solar recharge rate i'm not too sure um what the peak was uh because i did have to step away like I, I did have to like run some errands um i just left the power station and the panels outside um to recharge on their own and so yeah i mean that is the solar charging test for these uh four 100 watt calpha solar solar panels just taking a look at them um also it is about like 47 degrees outside um, and you know they perform they performed really well. I think it was actually colder um, previously in the day, but uh, yeah. Anyways, all right, you guys. So uh, just finishing up my review for these um, Calpha Solar 100 watt flexible solar panels. Um, yeah, they performed uh, really well. Um, I was having issues before because I didn't know how to connect these panels in series, <laughs> and uh, and so I reached out to Calpha Solar um, to help me like walk through how to connect the panels um, in order for them to uh, work properly. Um, oh, the power station just automatically shut off. I'm gonna turn it on in just a second. But um, yeah, you know, what I did was I just paired, um, you know, two panels together and the other two panels together. And then I connected them to the uh, four in one solar cables. And that worked. Um, when I connected all four panels to this, um, to these two uh, four in one solar cables, uh, I was only able I was only able to get a 150 watt uh, solar recharge speed on my AC70 power station. Um, Calpha Solar explained to me that uh, you know that that like didn't meet the specification 
to uh, recharge the AC70. I think there was like too much like amperage or something like that that they explained. Um, and so what I did was, you know, I, I connected like two panels and two panels together. And, and then I connected the remaining um, positive and negative uh, terminal cables um, to this four in one cable. And then I was able to uh, use the full power of the four panels together. Um, and that was great to see, you know, I was able to get um, I was able to get from a uh, 0% to, to a uh, 81%, um, for this AC 70 power station within like four hours, because I started the test at about 1130 AM and I ended the test at about 330 PM. And, uh, yeah, these solar panels worked how they're supposed to you just gotta know how to uh, connect them all together. And, uh, in order to use them to recharge a power station or with whatever other purpose that you're using them for. Um, I will have a link down in the description below um, for these panels in case you want to take a look at them. Um, they worked well for me, just had to go through some troubleshooting process, uh, but that's really about it. <laughs> um, uh, it was actually like pretty incredible. Um, you know, I was able to uh, get to 81% without using the grid. Um, I think this is like the first time I've used solar panels in such a helpful way, uh, considering that, you know, this wasn't, considering that I wasn't using the grid to recharge the Blue Eddy power station. Um, and so yeah, uh, that is my review for these uh, 100 watt Kalpa solar panels. And uh, yeah, link down in the description below. And I will also have a link to the review article over at chargerharbor.com as well, in case you want to look at a um, review article. And I will see you all on the next video. All right, goodbye.